happen again. Hello guys and welcome back to RTC Veteran Combat Training. Uh, that previous clip was me getting raped by the computer. That was a fairly bad game and I just showed you an example of what happened the rest of the game. That's pretty much all that happened. They quick snapped to me and shot me and I died. So uh, yeah, that's gonna happen every now and again I guess because computers seem to be completely random. So we're moving on to the next game. I do a little bit better this game, so I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, by the way, I was uh, thinking about creating more of a real-life channel. I was looking for a nice, high-quality camera that will allow me to do slow-motion shots. I've looked into it, and the real high-speed cameras if you want a good one, like the huge TV quality, 100,000 frames per second, they start at around $50,000 and run up all the way to 150000 for the good ones. So uh, that's not going to happen, but uh, if any of you guys have any experience with slow speed shots, well, uh, yeah, slow motion replay shots, high speed cameras, let me know and... Uh, I'm looking for a good program and a good camera to do it with. I was thinking of buying some uh, nice toys and things and showing you guys some slow motion shots. It'll probably be on another channel. Right now I'm enjoying making videos. Uh, I'm not making any money off this. Just to let you guys know I'm spending more money on it than I'm making. Eventually I'm hoping to get my investment back through advertising revenue, but uh, I'm working a six... I'm working two jobs six days a week, and it's kind of nice if I start to get a, another uh, secondary income uh, from YouTube. Enemy spy plane now, whether that's ever going to happen, I don't know. It was an uh, investment on my part, and investments are already always a risk. This wouldn't be the first thing I've made money off of. Uh, I'm always looking for ways to make money, and uh, when I put my mind to it, I put my mind to it. Uh, just an advice for all you guys out there. If you're looking for a way to make money, uh, find good ones and stick to them because uh, nothing in life ever comes easy. I put up nearly 200 videos now, put in hours upon hours of my time, and it's not really hard work, but there's just a lot of work to it. And that's the same with a lot of things because uh, if, even if you go watching Discovery Channel, you know, people go to Alaska during summertime, they dig for gold. They fish, they freaking drive trucks, whatever. There's a lot of jobs everywhere around the country similar to that in some ways. Not all of them are very safe, but at the same time, the pay is worth it. So, if you are jobless and you are 25 or older, which I guess is probably 1% of my audience, uh, so I'm speaking for the most of you guys in the future who don't go to college. My first advice, go to college. Second advice, if you don't, look for good jobs. There's plenty of good paying jobs out there, and there's plenty of other ways to make money business-wise. So if you have good uh, sense with money, and uh, you find yourself a job, and you can save up money, you can start making money in several different ways. And YouTube isn't even my primary investment at the moment for the most part. I'm looking at starting some websites and selling some supplies over the internet to different things and I just haven't targeted down uh, market yet. So this is a hobby. It's fun. I hope I can get constant income from it. Uh, but this isn't going to be a job by any means. So right now you're watching this gameplay, I haven't been paying too much attention to it myself. But I'm doing halfway decent, especially compared to the last game. You know, I am building up kill streaks I haven't completely wiped out yet. And, uh, yeah. I don't really like Black Ops anymore. I play combat training more than anything. I'm thinking about going uh, to Call of Duty 4. 
I never played Modern Warfare ever. I started with Modern Warfare 2, and that's the game I learned Call of Duty from. So, I, w I went and bought Call of Duty 5 World at War for Nazi zombies to play with my friends. And I played a little bit online, didn't really like it, never got into it. But uh, I'm really tempted to go. I still have Modern Warfare somewhere, and I'm really tempted to play that online. And I might do an RTC challenge, or just at least, at least a little bit of gameplay on that. Just to see what it's like and how well I do in Call of Duty 4. I really liked out there getting that, and uh, I basically hit fire spam that, and I almost killed that guy, I would guess, but uh, these veteran soldiers are just too uh, quick. See, I almost lost that gunfight there, and I had the advantage. Uh, the problem was, he was moving, I wasn't. So that's why I'm kind of strafing back and forth a little. I figured they might be spawning in there, and they didn't. Now they're spawning. Ooh, yeah, this guy. For some reason, I win, and uh, I was very thankful there. I'm not much a believer in religion or God or anything like that, but I sure was thanking him there. What else can I talk about? Let's throw something random in. So you already talked about Orange County Choppers and other... <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. Really don't know where that came from. But yeah, uh, what other TV shows do I watch? Not a whole lot at the moment. I'm busy. I don't have much time to do anything. I've been watching Lost on Netflix, but I don't really want to talk about that because I'm not sure if... I, I've... <clears throat> I've already watched the first season entirely, and I still haven't made up my mind whether I like it or not. You know what I didn't think of? I could probably pause it when I had to clear my throat or something. I really don't have to turn away and apologize for it. I should just pause the damn thing or go back and delete it. But since I'm talking straight through this, it's a little bit harder to go back and delete things. There's really no space to find any editing. Right now I threw that out there. It's an ammo. I'm hoping I can pick someone off there. I really don't know if they would go for it or not. But I was kind of hoping they would. The game's coming to a close. I wanted to get some more kills, so I run out here like an idiot. Can't remember if I kill... Yeah, I think he kills him, yeah. And then I, come, I walk out and die. Oh, I didn't die there. Where, where do I die? I know I die here somewhere. <clears throat> There it is. So I think I'd die once more, yep. The computer was camping, just like an asshole. And veterans, they throw grenades pretty accurately, and it's a pain in the ass. And that's pretty much the game. What do I got, like a 3.2 KD that game? That's not too bad. Anything above a 2KD on veterans pretty good. The more patient you are, the more you camp, the better you're going to do on average. Um, but that's the same as always. Play play like a real soldier. Play like you don't want to die. And that's how you play against veteran combat training. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day.